All right, so do you guys remember in one of my featured members video, I think it was actually Facebook, Facebook members share their bolos. Somebody talked about selling these pixel chicks. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bola Buddies. So each month in my Facebook group, I post something like this. Share your best September Bolo. We just finished up with share your best October Bolo. But here is what I want to show you guys. Um, in this video, which first of all, I kind of want to know what Dad Planet's up to. Look at... Um, Look at this face he's making here. He finally figured out like, if I make a face, a silly face, somebody's gonna click on the video. So go check out and see what Dad Planet's up to. Uh, go check out uh, the Rebel Reseller, Donatella Bottolino, some of my favorite channels right there. But anyway, let's get back over here to what we came over here for. And I'm gonna share with you a little piece of this video. And I, know that I learn so much from everybody that shares. So if you have been sharing, thank you so much. So let's listen to this little part of this video and then we're gonna go into what I'm gonna talk about next. Three pixel chips sold for 160. Wow, I don't know about this one, I love it. Bought for $1.99 each at the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. I'd never heard of them. You know what? I think maybe not i feel like i had one of these in a mystery box and i've got them sitting in my garage somewhere <laughs> in my money pile one of my money piles but this is what they look like so definitely be on the lookout and i was like i have some of those somewhere and i was going through my garage today and look what i found i'm gonna have a separate video on each one of these on my reseller testing bolo products if you want to see how they work this one I, no sound having some issues um this one is working this one is working and this one is working no way they're really cool let's see if i can she's coming down from upstairs anyway you can make them do things with these buttons pretty interesting so I can make her eat. She's eating. And this one is the same. No way. Pick something. So here she is. I can make her change her clothes and eat and go up to her bedroom. Watch how cool this is. She'll go up to her bedroom. Oh wait, she dropped something. Let me see. What she, do we do? I want you to go to bed. I want you guys to see how she goes to bed. Go to bed. Oh no, the phone's ringing. Is that this uh -huh. one? Hello? Hello? Go to bed. Uh. There she goes. She's tired. Watch. She's going to go upstairs and watch. The light is going to turn on. It's so cool. Here it goes. And then this one. What do we do? She uh, can be up here. And this is like um, a pet care area. And this down here is like a salon. And you can push the different buttons to do different things. I really don't know what I'm doing, but um, they work. So that's exciting. Let's look at some comparables on these. Before we look at comps for these items, I have a little shout out. Thank you so much for your purchase. I believe it was purchased from this video. So you might remember this little guy from my Goodwill Ben's video. It's like a little, uh, what do you call it? Headlight for kids or a headlamp. It lights up and it roars and its eyes glow. And shout out to eBay store, the flipping good stuff. She purchased this from me after watching my video to gift as a Christmas gift. So thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. And I'm getting this shipped out right now. 
So I talked about this before. When I get my mystery boxes, I sometimes get these cute little uh, Christmas containers. And see, I've got like a star here. And it's got this. And then I've got a Christmas tin. I've got these Christmas tins. So what I do is I save these and I use them to ship things in. So this one's a little buildable one. And these are great for shipping, especially around Christmas time because people can reuse them. All right, I got some bubble wrap. I got my little thank you sticker. Let's see if it's gonna fit. Oh, is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? It's gonna fit perfect. There you go. There you have it. It's a little loose, but I'm gonna put it inside a poly mailer and ship that out. So that's got the little dino in it. How cute is that? Okay, Bola Buddies, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Goodwill Bins Bingo Challenge. This is the bingo card. Yes, everything is covered by emojis. I don't want everybody to know the big secret of what we have to hunt for. So if you would like to participate in this challenge, it is open to anyone, anyone with a YouTube channel. So you go into the bins, you film your footage, and you find as many items as you can that are on this card and you make a video and we are all going to drop the videos on the same day. It's going to be super fun. I've gotten so many um, inquiries. So you guys are, it's, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see what everybody finds. So if you're interested in participating in that, we are not going to drop the video. I think it's Saturday, November 26th is when we are going to drop the videos. So you have time. So message me on Facebook or Instagram if you're interested in participating in that challenge. There is no winner, it's just for fun, just to meet new channels, gain new um, subscribers, and have a good time. And provide entertainment for everybody that doesn't have a YouTube channel that likes to watch. All right, you guys, let's get on to the next thing. Okay, now we are gonna go into uh, some comps, some comparables for these items, okay? So we are going to go into um, eBay. I've already got the listings pulled up. I am searching Pixel Chicks price highest to lowest. And I did search USA only and I searched um, used, pre-owned. So this first one here, it looks like it has an apartment building, uh, three stories. So that's pretty incredible. Now I will say, Mine are not in as good of condition as the ones that I just showed in the Facebook video. Um, wow, those were in great condition. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to part them out or if I'm going to sell them as a lot. So I'm kind of just scrolling here. A lot of these people took best offers for, looks like here, um, this is the same listing, September 21st and September 30th. So this one probably didn't get paid for. It got relisted and sold for the $99. All right, let's just kind of scroll. These must be really hard to find. But sure enough, I am getting stuff from my garage to my basement. And I opened up a tote and I had four of them. <laughs> So here is the one that I have, and my buttons are pretty faded. I am putting videos over on my reseller testing Bolo products to show how they work, and I will link those in the description of the video because they're about four to five minutes a piece to really show the different features. So here's the yellow house that I have, or the cottage. It sold for $99.99 free shipping. Here's the other one I have. They're calling this a purse salon or pet store. Sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Um, that one's not like mine. This is the other one I have. It's the yellow house or cottage. It sold for 75 plus shipping. Again, these are the high solds. Here's a set. They did an auction, so I will not do an auction. If I do, I will start it at the high end. And we're going to talk about that here shortly. So stay tuned for that. We're going to go into something, another topic. And right now I just wanted to show you guys some comparables on these. So if you ever see these, definitely grab them. They are a bolo. Um, I do have that fourth one that is the two story with the pool on the top. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Uh, rooftop pool. 
this is um, the other one that I have, but the sound doesn't work and it only works, it only lights up when it's in the down position, not the up position. So that one, I don't know. I don't know if I should sell them all together or sell them individually. I'm thinking I need to sell them individually based on what I am seeing here. So, um, and I'm just going to do a buy it now. I do want to go over and let's look at active listings and just see what my competition is looking like. Um, so we're going to take this off of completed and sold here. Did it go off? Nope. My computer's running really slow tonight. Oh goodness, look at that. There's the one that I have, but mine is not working correctly. Again, the top does not light up and there's no sound for some reason, but these are the actives and these are the ones, um, I've got it filtered by high to low. So we'll see, there's my little yellow cottage. So it looks like 80, 90 bucks people have them listed for see if we see the other one. I have that one. They've got it listed at 70. Oh, look at these. See, I had no idea, no idea what these were. I just literally threw it in a tote and thought nothing else of it. Somebody's got this one for 50. And I don't see the other one that I have listed. So um, maybe I'll do an auction on that one. But anyway, pixel chicks, be on the lookout. There's another yellow one for 80. All right. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is. Let me see. Ended listings. So I am in my eBay. And I have 101 items that I need to relist as fixed price because I have put these on auction style. Typically when I do an auction, it's because I'm just kind of feeling out the market. There may not be a whole lot listed and I just want to see if I can maybe get a little bidding more going. I start my auctions at the price that I hope to get for the item, which means most of my auctions do not sell. I've told you guys that before. So I have 101 items that I need to relist as fixed price. So basically, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click relist as fixed price. We've got eBay's new listing format, which I am finally getting used to. I really don't need to make any changes other than I need to go down here and I need to hit edit. And I need to change this from auction to buy it now. So I had this priced on auction at $19.99. I don't really pay any attention to this. I really look at um, other solds, what's listed, and that's how I come up with my price. Um, I had it at 20. It did not sell on auction. What I do is I will price it higher and I will run a sale because my sale automatically kicks in. I will allow offers. I do not fill out any of this because some days I will take an offer um, that's lower than. I hope to get for the item, maybe because it's a slow day, or maybe it's a viewer, or you know, there's different reasons why you take lower offers. So um, $30. And then I think I'm currently running a 35% off sale, so that will kick in. And I don't have to change anything else. I will, oh, nope, I'm sorry. I'm gonna promote this. So ad rate, suggested ad rate for this is 5.3%. Um, I'm just going to leave it at the suggested rate and I am going to hit list now. So I only have to do that a hundred and more, a hundred more times. Does anybody want to hang out with me while I do that? Kidding. All right, let's go over here. Now I showed you guys a video the other day of my money pile and it looks like this. If you did not see this video, go check it out. Um, you can see everything, um, that I need to list. And I'm currently working on getting things from my garage to my basement. And that's where I found those pixel chicks today. But anyway, I've been just doing quick list where I will take snapshots of the items and all of the titles need tweaked. Um, so I have uh, 95 items. These are the ones I did today. I have the pictures in my phone. 
I have already ran them through photo room and they are ready to go. I just need to add them in and then I will go in and I will edit the title, add the description and make tweaks. So let's do this one. For example, it is some weird toy. Um, I think it was in a mystery box. Let's see. No, I got this at the Goodwill bins. Okay. So my pictures are already here. I used somebody else's listing and I did sell similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the title. This is where I have the item. I can't remember if it was tote eight or tote 23 because I was working in both totes at the same time. And I have so many drafts that I'm not sure. So it's in one of them. And then I got it at the bins. So that's how I know. And if I got it at a garage sale or a thrift store, I will put the price right beside it. But since it's from the bins, I know it's by weight. Now I will go into my store category. This is a toy. And that's one thing I don't like about the new, um, the new listing page is there's all these extra clicks where I feel like I didn't have to do all this before. So toys in first class, um, this should be correct. I am going to put does not apply here because I am not sure if it, because I hit sell similar, if it's the same SKU. And again, my computer is just running slow. Actually, no, it's not. I'm zoomed in. Okay, so these are Monchi's babies. And I always take that out of there. People can look at the packaging. It's a mini doll. It is new in the original packaging. So my title did copy over. Sometimes I have to, um, if I edit my title, I'll have to cut and paste, which is why I copied that earlier. Really don't need to add anything else for this. Um, I am just going to do a buy it now at $12. I am going to allow offers. And I don't know, maybe I should do an auction because I didn't see any other ones with a pink hat. Um, but I probably have a rare. You guys, should I do an auction? See, this is where I second guess myself. Let's do an auction just to be safe. And let's start the auction. Because I know these are like, not a blind bag or a mystery bag because you can see what it is, but it's like a series one and there's only so many. So seven day auction, $9.99 allow offers. Um, this is probably about six ounces, maybe less, but I do have to package it. I always offer priority mail just in case somebody wants their item quickly. And I do have a, um, calculated shipping rule, which is for all my first class items. If you add to cart, you will get $5 shipping. I do have global shipping turned on. Um, and I am going to hit list it. So I only need to do that for 95 more items. <laughs> uh, so currently I'm going to, I'm sorry, 94 more items. So I have 94 items that are drafted ready to go. I just need to get them completed and listed to eBay. And then I have a hundred and oops, that's my active listings unsold. Let's go into unsold my unsold. I have a hundred that need switched over to fixed price, but I'm going to stop right now because I have to go over to my YouTube and I have to work on my featured members videos. So that is what I'm going to be working on. But I just wanted to put together this little category slash vlog style video for you guys where I talk about some different things. Let me know if you like this style of video. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're interested in doing the Ben's Bingo Challenge, please reach out to me. Thanks for watching.